This is the go-kart. When it's folded, it looks like this. To get from folded to unfolded, you need to do this. Are there any questions? OK, one more time. The go-kart is in two pieces. One is the trolley, the other the battery. You can't do much with either on their own. To get the go-kart ready for use, have both parts next to each other on the ground. Pick up the trolley by the handle and pull the frame apart. Don't grab the front wheel, it might be mucky. Pull it from the other side. When you're doing this, keep your fingers clear and put the trolley down on its wheels. To make fitting the battery really easy, you should stand like this, on either side of the trolley. Notice an arrowhead moulded into the battery cover. This points to the front wheel when you come to fit the battery. Now release the handle retaining catch. Unfold the handle and while supporting the frame to keep it open, lift the top bag rest. You won't be able to fit the battery before you do this. Still keeping hold of the frame, unfold the lower bag rest and pick up the battery. Position it inside the trolley frame with the arrow pointing to the front wheel. Gently move the battery until you feel it drop into position and then with a final push downward on each side of the battery cover, make sure both of the locking flaps clip under the frame. If the battery drops down unevenly, don't be tempted to try and force the other side down. This won't work. You simply have to lift the battery slightly and reposition it so it's level. That's it. You're ready for your first driving lesson. If you have the manual speed control, just turn on the switch and push the roller back and forth to adjust your speed. When you're out on the course, use the on-off switch to start and stop. If you leave the roller preset, turning on the on-off switch takes you smoothly back to your last speed. If you have the go-kart automatic, make sure the on-off switch is in the on position and simply hold the handle grip and start walking. Out on the course with the automatic, there's no need to use the on-off switch. It's there to avoid accidents if you leave the trolley unattended. If you're used to using a trolley with standard speed controls, here's a bit more of an explanation as to how the automatic handle works. It is a bit different. Firstly, it's not like a motorbike where you need to twist the grip. Boom. And you don't need to squeeze the handle either. It works by responding to the pressure of your hand as you walk faster or slower. There are switches in the handle that control the motor speed to match the go-kart to your walking pace. You can demonstrate this for yourself by assembling the trolley with the battery on, you don't need the golf bag, and using one hand, lift the two drive wheels up off the ground. With the other hand, push forward on the handle. You'll notice the wheels start to build up speed. If you stop pushing on the handle, the wheels will keep at that speed. If you pull back on the handle, you'll see the wheels start to slow down and stop. With a bit of practice, driving a go-kart automatic becomes, well, automatic. And with the automatic, you can still let go of the handle as you walk. Just hold the handle again to stop the trolley. Here's how to fold up the go-kart. Are there any questions? OK, one more time. After removing your bag, release the battery locking flaps and lift the battery slightly. Support the frame with one hand and lift the battery out with the other. After placing the battery on the ground, fold in the lower bag rest and push the top bag rest down. Push the handle release button and lift the handle up and over. The locking catch will hold it in position. Hold the handle with one hand and minding your fingers, finally push the upper frame downwards. That's it. Don't forget, you must recharge your battery at the end of every day's golf, no matter how many holes you play.